my name is Sam, and this is another drag race. Let's roll! Okay, so here's what we have. EV6 GT, GV60 Performance, Mach-E GT versus the X4M competition. Unfortunately, at this track, we cannot do a four-way race. Therefore, we're going to do an elimination round, meaning that first, we're going to race the three electric vehicles. Whichever one comes on top, will race the X4M competition. So let's talk about the specs. First, we'll start with the electric vehicles. First is the EV6 GT, which uses a front and rear motor, which means it is an all-wheel drive. Combined, it makes 576 horsepower and 545 pound-feet of torque. It weighs 4,795 pounds. The next one is the Mach-E GT, which also uses front and rear motor. And this one makes 480 brake horsepower and 634 pound-feet of torque. It weighs 4,796 pounds. The next one is the GV60 Performance, which also uses front motor and rear motor. And combined, it makes 483 brake horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque. But it weighs a bit more out of the three. In comparison to the EV6 and the Mach-E, this weighs at 4,000 862 pounds and of course the next race we're going to talk about the x4 competition both of you anush what mode are you in i'm in unbridled extended like sport mode jim what mode are you in i'm in the i'm faster than you mode which is also known as gt mode that's a good one okay so i have my boost on as well uh, the good thing is that this doesn't start the boost until I actually uh, release the brake, which is great. And one thing to point out this time is the fact that the Mach-E GT is coming with it extended on bridle, which actually is track mode when we're hoping it doesn't cancel uh, at uh, over 100 kilometers an hour, because the last time we did cancel over 100 kilometers an hour. Okay, uh, guys, I am ready on this side. Once the hands are down, we should be good to go. Are you guys ready? Ready. Good over here. Did I jump? We do that. We gotta find out. Uh, that's insane, man. Holy moly. So, I thought the GV60 was going to smoke you guys. Okay, let's do this one more time. Maybe someone jumped. I don't know. We gotta see that. Let's do it again, friends. Let's do it again. Jim, uh, it would appear that uh, you might have jumped the first one. Um, I don't know how that happened, but uh, I don't know. I still think they're going to get the second one because you were so far ahead of me and you were just going, buddy. That, that thing is pretty quick. Okay, now, this time I want to find out the kilometers. Anush, how many kilometers do you have on yours? 161. How many kilometers do you have on yours? 
It's reading 224 kilometers of range. I have 227, which means we need to find out by the end, after we pass the quarter mile, at the end over there, I'm going to ask you guys how many kilometers you have. Just want to see how much battery uh, you waste by doing these launch controls. Okay, guys, I am ready on this side. Uh, well, let's see if Jim uh, was uh, as fast as the first time. What a missile. Holy smokes. Okay, uh, Maki, uh, Anush, how many kilometers do you have now? Uh, 254. But again, please? 254. How many kilometers do you have? 221. I lost three kilometers on that launch. 217. 217. So I lost about three to four kilometers. Okay, we're going to do the roll race now. Let's do it. So whoever won the dig is going to race the X4M. Uh, and of course, Jim, you won that. Uh, so you guys are going to race the X4M, but I want to see the roll race here. So when I say one, two, three, go, go, I'm going to put mine in boost mode as well. I have it in sport mode. Are you guys ready? First cone or the second? Cones over there, not the fast over here, first over here, the second cones. Okay, guys, you ready? Ready. One. I think I'll buy this one. <laughs> Listen, what a crazy uh, drag race. Uh, I am I'm super shocked, I gotta say. I did, I did not expect that car to win by that much. That was absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do now is X4M competition versus the Kia EV6 GT, since it's technically both of them, so it doesn't matter at this point. Uh, I just want to say thank you guys for helping out with this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Absolutely. Thank you for the opportunity, as always, my friend. Now that the EV6 GT won the first race, 
The next step is of course to race it against the X4M competition. And since we covered all the specs for the EV6 GT, here is the next car. The 2022 BMW X4M competition under the hood uses a 3 liter inline 6 twin turbocharged engine. It makes 503 brake horsepower and 479 pound feet of torque. But unlike the EV6 GT, this weighs 4,431 pounds. It uses an 8 speed automatic transmission and most importantly, it is all wheel drive. So at this point, we say, let's roll. Good to go here. Thank you. 